here's the thing. <laughs> I'm here to tell y'all. Ladies and gentlemen. This is what's going to happen. Boys and girls. Welcome. This is what's going to happen. To the Smile 69 Network Show. I I want that girl. We are live. Face rape, an an face, face, face rape anonymous. Face rape anonymous. Face rape anonymous. This is about to be wrong some wrong funny shit here. Ain't nothing Bro. Wrong with no bump and <laughs> Seriously, ain't this the craziest face thing? Face rape anonymous. It's nothing wrong. Why are you there? I'm not supposed to be here. I'm it's nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. There's nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. Don't start off. Don't start quoting R. Kelly now. Leave that man alone. Okay. No. Okay. Nope. Nope. This is a beat. <laughs> Let's get everybody in check. Here? My man is here. It? The BX. Yes, sir. Side. You know how we Side. do it. Side. Lay right. Lay Inside. right. Side. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy. sound effects work. Where's my face? No, that's the wrong No, one. no. It, it just don't work like that. Oh, they it missed don't, it. Yeah, it just missed that. It missed that. Oh, oh great. That sound like a nice introduction for this beat. That was nuts. This hey! Is not a, we are not making beats. This is an intro for one of your shows. No. <laughs> no cast noise, no do to do do to We're not doing that. Producing, so the producing is a good hustle. It is. Stop playing my phone. Some niggas get paid 100 racks for one beat. Yes, they do. <laughs> and now, coming to you live from DTF Radio. Yeah. Queen herself, Vanessa Sky. <laughs> Solo Charm. Vanessa, why are you wooing? Send to the hit maker. <laughs> 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 I missed you guys. Like, we missed you. It's been a week too long. I missed you guys. Yes. I went to Boston and put my foot in the ground over there. What the hell? Wait, was what? A couple family members. Who said a couple nieces and that? That's couple not family how members. Went. That's not how the song went with a couple of nieces and nephews. I know that's not. I know that's not what Rock him and no. said. I know he said a beat. I know, know he didn't what? say shit about nieces and Without nephews. Without adult I know he beats to step to, but that's one of those songs in the black community where we think that we know the words and we don't. We never do. I know the words. Right. I never heard niece or nephew in that no. shit at all. No one. No one. I've been singing was the, the what? What? Wait, wait, what? What's the song I sing every week? Hanging. Uh, listen. Making our way. <laughs> Making a way. I've been singing Hanging in the Jungle. Because that's where I thought we were at. Easy credit, rip off. Good. No, y'all know what I was doing as a kid. Never mind. Um. <laughs> <laughs> cool. But yes, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Smile Sister Network show. And we have some lovely guests in the building. Explain yourself. What up, Gray? Hey. Say your name, gangster. Don't start. Gray. <laughs> All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, thank you for sitting in with us no today. Problem. We got I a know, lot going on. I know you were disturbed by the conversation we had out there. What did you think about our conversation? Oh, no. I was kind of crazy. He seemed very frustrated <laughs> by the conversation. <laughs> what do you mean? No. 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 I love the passion. Like, That's what I love. I love when people are passionate. <laughs> no, nah, I was just about saying, like, a lot, of, a lot of things I was saying, I mean, I, was, I couldn't really fully agree. Course. With the whole face raping. I don't know where that came from. Please don't look at me <laughs> when you say that. I, I really blame. Like, she is the initiator like that you look it. right you at me. Yeah, you, did, you did kind of start that. When though. he Let said face you, raped, he looked never right. <laughs> try to figure out where the shit came from. Just nah, don't do it. I don't You'll even know. I was watching don't the game it. and I heard, I was just like, what are they talking about? I'm looking at my manager's like, did I miss something? Like, yeah, that everybody stop. It always happens like, when we talk and be like, fucking dick in the whole room stop. We like, <laughs> damn, son. Right, I hate that. Because I'll be having Again. a really great conversation, but niggas will usually catch the last tail end of the last two words. Yep, and we always get caught like that. Like, like, what? Stop we that always way. get caught like Y'all that. But doesn't that thing. happen every Sunday, though? This does. Where some random, like, mm -hmm. tail end. Hey, precious. And they'll say, what, dick? That's all they heard. What, dick? And then the whole room turns around like, what? Because I be tuning into y'all show, so I was kind of like, when Charm sent me the invite, I was like, I don't know. I I, I could do the music part, but y'all get kind of raunchy. What that's what we need. Out there is nothing. Get what you see, I love need the There's raunchiness. no rules on this because one hour. Absolutely not. No, no. No, no. No, no. no rules. No rules. No rules in the bedroom. No rules on air. Hey. No rules. 
I feel like there's depending more on the format bedroom. in yeah, there's here. There's certain rules. Depending we, on let's the be clear. There are certain rules we don't R. Do. Kelly, I'm sure, had a lot of rules. Listen, leave Robert alone. You're going to stop talking about a man like saying, that, right? I mean. Leave Robert alone. Because them bitches <laughs> knew how to suck dick the before he got there. We're not going to act like they didn't. I'm tired of this shit. No, Wait, because Daquan, she says he gives it to church finger and he leaves. No, because Daquan down the block was doing this shit for years. But because his name ain't Robert Kelly, nobody gave a fuck about it. Of course not. Exactly. So we're not going to act like this is something brand new to the American. This is the black, this is the black community, black fabric. Yeah. Well, Fuckery R. is Kelly, out there. So. R. Kelly is R. Kelly, so. Absolutely. And to go along with R. Kelly, to mm-hmm. segue into our t- topic slightly. Wait, how are you going to segue? Because you segue, know segue Because the really fuckery disturbing. is the fuckery, no matter where it's That's coming from or what it is. Okay. R. Kelly was on you his own fuck shit. You can't disguise We are not a part of his fuck shit, but that's his own fuck shit. Right. Okay. Now, there's some other fuck shit that's going on. Erotic asphyxiation. It's something that's happening oh, I'm inside the bedrooms please. out there. Break that down for people that don't According understand. According to Wikipedia, niggas be shitting on Wikipedia, but you look up anything I love on Google. Wikipedia. Wikipedia is the first thing that shows up, so shout out to you, Wikipedia. But anywho, uh, yes, they uh, mentioned on there that uh, erotic asphyxiation was the um, stopping of someone's breath as they are getting ready to ejaculate. Oh, it's like choking. No, not choking, because it, it oh. results no, in... No, it's asphyxiation. Yes, right, it results in the loss of ox- oxygen, which yeah. results in the loss of death. So mm-hmm. usually if a nigga choke someone's you hard dying enough, at the breathe. end of that type of session. If so. somebody chokes you hard enough, you're not going to breathe That's during sex. Fact. This is true, but you can also stop breathing for a couple minutes and then you can come back. Yeah, but see, that's the kind of sex I want. I don't want to die during sex. Right, depending on... I the had person. this conversation with you like a few weeks back. Like my One of my biggest fears... Me being asthmatic, and yes, for the world, I am asthmatic. I did ask my doctor if I could die or have asthma attack during sex, and he told me yes, and I was terrified. Because my thing mm. is, like, I don't want to be sucking dick, and you have to explain to my dad somewhere down the line at the crossroads <laughs> why his daughter died, <laughs> and you got to say was it was a dick thing. in her mouth <laughs> and she died. I don't want to be right, that Right, it's an extreme yeah, to right. choking, can I shocking, add to that? Else? Yes, Can I right add now. to that? If you're lucky... And maybe I'm just speaking for Not me. Not to die? <laughs> I hope my story's embarrassing. <laughs> so y'all gonna have to be like, um, so well. you have to service like she died from unknown circumstances. Uh, yeah, unknown know. circumstances. We're and then Ebony will be there to say, Amen. And then y'all know what happens. <laughs> Some be like, this bitch is nasty, but that's my bitch. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. So I'm just saying, like, yes. I want my story to be like embarrassing, like. Oh, oh dear God! I don't want that to be my story. And you know, he was nineteen. Let it start uh, there. Because <laughs> one of my friends is gonna be in there like, yo, Wait, my nigga, she was sucking <laughs> dick. <laughs> and it's <laughs> no, my friend will do it when the pastor starts talking about who's coming to read the obituary. Like, yo, my nigga, she was sucking dick, bro. That's how she died. Yes. The whole church going here. I was yeah, sucking that's, dick. Yeah, that's yes. how I died. Yeah, that's now, bad crazy. enough, it's gonna be a funeral with a bunch of blue flags and shit like that in it, in the caskets. Now, Absolutely. my family gonna be shocked by that shit. You want to add on to the fact of the banging part that I done died from sucking dick? Yeah, but they already sucking dick in church, probably in the back, right but before your service. But we're not talking about that. No. We're talking about but me. But question, but how is somebody Amen. supposed to die? Like, a lot of people right. always say, like, oh, they died in such terrible People way. say, like, when is your time to go? It's, it's time, time to go, time yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I I'm a firm believer in that. I want to have a conversation with God, like, can I please not go out like this? Like, take me to the hospital. And let me, like, you know, come back. Not and me. I fight right, my but, way. All right, so. The best way to go. To go fighting. after an orgasm? Oh, my God. All right, so. so as an orgasm. As a, orgasm. As a man. The last and choking from right. dick is two so different things. So would you things. want to as go a, as, as an man, orgasm? Right. As a man. No, but as what I'm. No, I, I want to go back to the choking thing real quick okay. before we even talk about that. Yes. Have you choked a bitch before? Yes. Or female, young yes, lady, whatever you want to call them. Yes. <laughs> but did certain you, females. Did you enjoy certain what happened females, when you choked her, and how did you choke her? No, I mean, you can't just run over that. Like we, wait, got, I we have to examine this. Right, what, but I'm I'm saying saying is, is, what I'm saying is, certain that. females like shit like that. Right. right. Yeah. They do. But as a man, is like I don't know. It's like an extra. It's like a boost. It's like a. It's like a confidence builder mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. to us. Like it's control. control bitch. Yeah. Like uh, like oh like oh choke me. Cho- it oh, turns you on the killer like, bitch. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Like that, that's how a nigga gonna take oh. it. Like oh I'm I'm oh I'm, I'm about to Perfect. put her to sleep. I'm about to Jay uh, Holiday her shit. All right. Like you know what I'm saying? So permanently. Yes, absolutely. But I see mean to no, die that's after that's to murder. die after a nut. That's like yeah, they do. Wow. I mean, you don't want to be the nigga that kills her, but I'm just saying. <laughs> nah, I'm definitely not going to. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, no. Mm-hmm. Yes, you will. No, I won't. Yes, you no, will. I'm no. killing this shit. No you dude killing this shit, literally, that and the bitch die. <laughs> yeah, what that, you going to say now? <laughs> listen. <laughs> when you in handcuffs, your honor, what you going to say in the front honor, of the courtroom? It was, listen, we was having right, sexual Right, then who intercourse? goes to jail at that point? That's, That's crazy. What, like, what's the charge? Right. That too. What is the charge at that point? 
manslaughter. Involuntary you manslaughter. Somebody Involuntary, but you told me to choke you. Right. It's involuntary manslaughter. It's, that's true. That's true. I'll give you a perfect example. I was on. I had a jury duty case. I can talk about it now. It was years ago. I hope I can talk about it. But I had a case where the Once girl the case came and decided yeah, to talk okay. about it. So the girl came all the way from like Wyoming or whatever the fuck she was at, and had a whole email message blog with the nigga about S and M shit and how she want to be bondage wrapped and starved right. and beaten and everything like that. that. She did that via email. When she came here, that nigga did that shit, and she was like, "Nah, oh. chill, it's OD. I don't want it no more." And yeah. he kept going with it because she said in the emails, "When I say stop, continue." He still got charged with assault and kidnapping, everything like that, because of the fact that she still said no. Because here, okay. He so I'm pretty it. sure a bitch going to say somewhere in the lines of you choking her, mm. killing her shit. Stop. Okay. I'm dying. Help me, Here's nigga. Please stop. And you keep going. You done killed that bitch. Can That's I it. break this down? Please. Break it on in down. In real life. In real life, she was like, yes, yes, I love all that. Yeah, yeah, I love giving head. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Pay for that ticket, pay for that ticket. Because I just really want to come to that city. That's why she said yes, yes. She wasn't into none of that shit. Mm. She forgot to tell that nigga she wasn't into none of that shit. Because then she forgot she said, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Stop, I get yeah, all of that shit. But if you say that shit, I'm uh, going to go yeah, somewhere yeah, but, else. I'm going to stay with you. But she didn't make that clear. Because how many women lie about like what all and who all yeah. and Blah, 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 if they're going to be sported coming to another city, mm-hmm. right? Because we know girls that will say whatever, like, to get a trip to New York, mm-hmm. right? She forgot to clarify after the fact, unfortunately for him. Now, I would let him go. Yeah. Because. So she asked for that. Perfect. But niggas see, need to stop acting like, you know, because they watch Law and Order that you know the law of the case. <laughs> Nigga, yep, and that's the problem. <laughs> just because you watch Law and Order. That's a show, and that may not necessarily be the laws of New York. Absolutely. Not your life. Absolutely. Am I right? So, I think that's how that went down. Because that all sounds suspect. Because mm-hmm. if you're into that, you know, you, you usually you don't lie about being into sh- shit like that. Because yeah, when you get there, you're going to be choked. That bondage and all that. Other, I'm when not you get that. there, you're going to be choked. Hold on. It's a possibility. Possibility? She said, yeah, yeah, choke me out. <laughs> He's going to choke you, bitch. Slap There's me. nothing wrong with that. Slap. No, we're Slap not saying. Me. That's not where. We're not saying there's anything wrong. We're talking about the case that she had years ago where yeah, the woman acted like she was into it all. It really like wasn't. She wrote it really, really wasn't. From, she was like across the water, whatever it is, like over in Wyoming or somewhere else in there. And she told the dude through all these emails, whatever it is, like, I want it. I, when I tell you no, keep continuing. I want you to tie me up. Choke me. Treat me like a dog, da, 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 everything like that. And when he did that shit to her, when she got here, she was like, no, I want to go back. I don't like it. And he's like, no, I'm going to continue. Because in the emails, you said, if I say no, mm-hmm. drag it on. Yeah, I'm going to keep and going. And that's see, what that, he did. See, that I, I kind of disagree with. Because even for me, like, the woman said that I came But they convicted him. Oh, wow. Yeah, they did. Well, no, he moved forward and he was, with it. That's why. No. Yeah. He was a producer, and yeah, they convicted him. Because even Absolutely. for me as a producer, if I, I, I always tell females and people who are, who are going to be on set exactly what's happening, what type of sex acts that's going on, ask mm-hmm. people what they're comfortable with and not comfortable with even before they decide to show up. Okay. And even if that person gets in that room and they realize, hey, this is not something I want to do, yeah, we're not moving forward with it yeah, at absolutely. all. Absolutely. But if you sit there, you go through with everything. Right. Is that right? Like, like I can't, I can't go against you at that you point. Like, I can't defend you because you went through with and everything. You know, and you know what you're you getting yourself it. into, yeah. And you we know had a conversation into. about what was going to be, in what, what this all entailed. This is the thing. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, that's how I do it every time. But that's every what it was. Time. The email entailed everything that she wanted and he wanted, and they agreed. That yeah, so his mindset, his mindset was, all right, if she tell me no, exactly. I'm going to keep going. Because exactly. this is what she, she told me. She no, told me this going. before she even made the trip. And she I've said, done that too before to guys. Like, even if I say stop. Didn't stop. I say that when she was out of the room? Because oh, you say. I'm not playing that game. If I say stop, you're going to fucking no, stop. I'm going to make you stop. And then like, we all going to go to jail. And I don't really want you to stop. Because if you stop, I'm going to have a problem. Like, no. We're in this. We in this. Yeah. And I trust you. But certain situations, I mean, like. That's like that, like like females and guys, like they talk a, like people have a tendency to talk shit when it right. comes to that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yes. nigga, like nigga, a nigga will talk shit, yep. but then when it's time to get the going, getting right, you can't back up nothing you talking about. Right. 
And that goes for females too. Like a female could be like, yeah, I give the best blowjob, yes. blah, 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 sloppy this stuff. But when you doing it, your shit dry as fuck. Like, I, can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't rock I with that. I never understood how that works. I love it. No, so but that's much. just the shit talking era. Like right. people, people talk shit. People like me and you can sit shit. here and talk and be like, yeah, right. I'm going to tell, I'm going to, ooh, I'm going right. to, ooh. As <laughs> soon as I get up in it, <laughs> two minutes later, ooh, 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 ooh. Right. And I'm and like, this like, nigga here. Yeah, yeah. What exactly. Happened? What happened to that shit you with nigga? And you off the henny. You off the henny and a perk, and you just right. like, what? You, you just, just fucked up my whole move. Right. So it goes both ways. Shit for talking goes both ways. I don't ways. want drugs. That's sex. a fact. No, I don't want drugs that's sex. just hypothetically speaking. I'm just saying, saying for different. the for the people that's listening on slide money. I don't oh no, want I drugs drink. Sex. I I I'm, I don't smoke. I don't pop. I don't like henny sex either. Because everybody be like, yeah, henny dick. You going henny dick? Nigga last five seconds and go to sleep. Listen, fuck all that. Sex is sex. Hello. Period. I don't give a fuck how much Henny, how much Patron, Hello. how much weed. Sex is sex. Yes, if the is. vibe is good and your it shit is, you it don't matter what you got. It's, it's gonna, gonna happen. Person. And it's gonna work out for the both of us. Hello, oh, Jay. It's gonna work out for the well, both of us. It may work, work out, out for you. It may no, not right. work out for me. Oh my God. God. It works out for me. I have a question. Is there Has there ever been a time in sex where you felt like this is it. This is the last time I'm going to be here on earth. <laughs> nah. Like you felt like you were about to die. <laughs> like, you know, for example, like I always hear the terminology from like guys like, pussy killing niggas. Pussy killing niggas. You took the life out of me. You know, soul, that kind of soul stuff. Taker, soul taker. Soul taker. Like any soul. time Ooh. in your life where you've ever felt like, <laughs> this is it. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing a round table discussion? Are we Absolute doing a round table, round table discussion? discussion? Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Priscilla, when did when did you feel like someone else um, like took a, you out? Well, well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear Priscilla. Any because t- if this should be a nigga I'm around one day and I'll be like, Priscilla, why are you smiling so hard? I, I was in a situation where I was being spanked. See? And I was tied up. My hands were down. I was on okay. the Yes, door. girl. I was tied up and I was Get being it. spanked. And I, I, at first it was hurting so bad, but then it got to a point where I wasn't feeling anything anymore. Mm-hmm. And then the spanks got slower. Ecstasy. Like, it's <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Can you please yes. not bust a nut in the seat <laughs> <laughs> while she's telling her story? But, yeah, I was being spanked so hard, and then I was, I think I was sitting there for like Poor almost Blake. an hour. <laughs> this is scaring me. Don't make me move closer <laughs> to you, Blake. I'm doing it. Okay. Me over here. Um, almost an hour, but I ended up falling asleep. What? Tied up. In, the, in, like, the same position, like, falling asleep. Like, I a full sleep. Like, mode. not snoring, like, but not realizing that the shit was still going on. But I don't like even a understand light. how yeah. that even. Yeah, that's kind of funny. And he's yeah. happy. He was like, you all right? You all right? I don't even understand how that's yeah. comfortable. But okay. Nah, you're not all right. You was just sleeping. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> he put that pussy You was <laughs> just sleeping. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you, she just shut but down. I'm just saying, like, yeah. I got to a space where I didn't, I'm like, I didn't know if I was still there. Like, I felt like I was in a different space mentally. It was Knowledge like, said, hell no. I, I had an out-of-body experience. Because <laughs> I was I stuck to a weird space. I wouldn't oh, call it shit. subspace, but it was, it was crazy. I got flipped upside down. That's when I was just like, oh, shit, shit is real. Fantastic. Because I, I felt like, okay. Like, I explained myself. Yes. Yeah. I, I so was, all right. It was a six nine run over Cause that. I gotta go next. So go ahead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fuck. Yes, okay. It was a six nine standing up. Yes, girl. Do it. And yeah. he flipped me upside down. And at first I was like, okay, this is fun. And I'm like, woohoo, the blood's in my head. It's cool. Thanks. Great. But then after a while, I was like, fuck this blood in my head. This shit is amazing. Right? Cause you don't I'm even care. I'm a nigga back for three, four, five. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> But yeah, that was because you much don't it. even care if you pass out at that point, right? Yeah, I don't, if I die, yeah. I die. That's how I was yeah. feeling at that point. If I die, See? I die. Like if so I if go, you're dying right crazy. after coming, it's still not a terrible thing. I stand by that argument. But see, I can that's get away a great with way that to go. Though. I can get away with that though, because it won't be like just me on my knees sucking dick. Okay. Like it would be like oh, a so you suck dick. He can change the position of whatever it is. Wait, he can change the position of whatever I was in. Mm-hmm. So the whole dying on my knees part, my mouth wide open. Wait, that's not. So let's per clear this up. Yet. You're cool. You're not cool dying on your knees, but you're cool if you die dying sucking upside dick down, upside down, with <laughs> blood rushing to your head. Because he can lay me on How the bed, and I can just been doing something else. How are you cool with that? <laughs> right. Yeah. I could be doing something else if like you position what? me correctly. You're so upside down. 
sex is sex. And what you, are you, you doing? Know, if you lay me on the bed while I'm dead. Oh, wait a minute. You <laughs> just said you was. I can do something okay. else. Cause you just said you was upside so, down. So who else wants to die? Sucking with, dick. While, while they're. Uh, I didn't say for the. I'm around. just saying. I'm whenever I giggle, you know that's where I. Stand. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go with what I said earlier. If I'm giggling, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. She Regardless said, of what. It doesn't matter what it is. It's not like, rape. Giggling, it's I'm not rape if you're giggling. Is what Chris said earlier. Maybe not rape if you're giggling. No, I said. It's face rape. It's not face rape. We're not having giggling. a face rape conversation okay. right now. Okay. We just spoke about that for I don't about think an you hour. Face, like, you can't face, face rape, rape a nigga. I'm sorry. True. Why not? You can't. Why not? Because you opened your fucking mouth to eat this pussy. And you opened you your legs about. to get your shit ate. All right, so, so what? what's the problem? But that? your face is still there. And I'm not getting pleasure from your mouth. I'm getting pleasure from your Let me hear from you. Car's bugging right now. She's tripping. I'm not bugging. Listen. How do you come off a mouth? It's a All tongue. Right. Well, I wanted to stick to people dying. All right. The Let's time, go back. I, I no, honestly, the time. <laughs> the time I thought it was look, over. Look, management to be in a room. So yeah, you see, I'm looking, right? Oh, my management's here. All right, they're not in here. All right. No, no. No, nah, the time I thought it was over was when I got my nut swallowed. Ooh. Like nothing. Really? And she swallowed it immediately. That was serious for you? No, oh. no. See, you don't understand. See, you don't, you don't, <laughs> you're not a guy. Right. So, like. When a female is like, especially like, say, say, I'm hitting it from the back, and I'm telling you, like, I'm about to come, I'm about, to, and you just, oh yeah, Word. If you just throw the dick in your it, mouth, yeah. like, just yes. throw it, like, pop, that's it's like, oh, like a man goes from here to here, oh, I in like a matter that of that's five a fact. seconds. Y'all turn into bitches. That's a no, fact. that I go right to sleep after that. That is a but visual. Good night. I don't care how long this shit lasted. <laughs> right. I'm going to bed. Right. There's no round two. It's not. <laughs> No, I but no, no, but no, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. No listen a regular nut, like Hello. nothing on the butt cheeks or nothing in the right, like and why, why you on top? That's different from, that's different from a female sucking the nut out of you. Yeah, yeah. well, like, yeah. they just everything is just in your soul. It's just you it's go from the buffest nigga, all you see is bones and ribs. All and the wow. niggas on my on my live. I don't care what them you. niggas <laughs> is talking. Listen, no, yeah, they they agree. They all agree I'm you. telling you, bro. When a <laughs> when. When you ejaculate in a female's mouth and she's willing to do it, that is life. That to is every it. man living. I've only done that one. Visual to every Thank man you. living. I swear to God, if you want your nigga to go to sleep, do that. Wow. Just, just, just. I'm exactly. telling you, it's yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At get, that get, point, at that point, it don't up, matter. At up. that point, tighten it don't up. matter <laughs> if you swallow, if you spit. Just ejaculation in the mouth is crazy. Now, okay. question. Look, she Period. must have been like, what the fuck is if going you ejaculate on here? They got me in here bugging. If you ejaculate into a female's mouth and some of it gets on you, how do you feel about that? Like, I have a problem with guys not wanting to mm -hmm. touch Don't start that shit. No, you know what my answer is? Don't start that um, shit. <clears throat> Don't start that shit. I'm going to give you the whole. Babe, you got a wipe? Oh, shit. Well, give me some tissue. <laughs> All right. I can't. Why do, why do guys act so fucking like. Look, you know what else we doing? Against you know their own doing? semen. Like, we. Uh, you know what else we doing? What else we doing? We're going to light up. Right. <laughs> this cigarette about to be hitting right now. Right. And I'm going to bed. <laughs> Good night. Phone going on. Do not disturb. Leave me alone, I my nigga. Like, Yo, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not meaning to be. Babe, what's your? No, no, no. Hold on. It gets real. It, this no. one, it gets real. You have comatose after that. That's true. Right. Babe. Now, shut up, hold on. Hold up. Shout out to Rick okay, and Blue Babe. Sex on. He said it's not a big of a deal. He'll kiss his shorty after. Real nigga shit. That's what I'm talking okay. about. Okay. I'm now. gonna put my headphones on. Real nigga That's shit. Different. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's Real nigga shit. Nah, Thank nah. you. you it depends. Like if it's wifey, Real listen, if it's wifey. If it's wifey. Real love. That's love. If it's wifey. No. No. No, no, fuck wifey, no. fuck all that shit. If somebody no. took your semen, nigga, you better take that shit too. But wait, Listen, that's the fuck? First of all, wait, even if she's not wifey. You better wait, 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 can I, I learn can this? I learned this when I used to can work I say at Applebee's. Can I right quick, though, y'all? Yes. Two things. Okay. Y'all can't ask men what they think if you don't want to hear it. <laughs> like, you can not like it, but you got to hear it because uh, you asked, right? But yeah. even if, hold on, but before you even go in, even if she's not wifey, right, and she does that, 
She has wifey capabilities. You need to look into that, fam. Right. You need so, to look into okay. that. Okay. Now, let me break you down need to what look snowballing is. Let me finish. Let me, because he, I you don't want him to finish what he has to say. I break down Here's snowballing, y'all going to be upset. Uh, uh, black women don't like this, but this is true. If if you ain't wifey status, that's just how the fuck that's going to be. That's a fact. Y'all need to be good with that. And, just and stop if a it. female's doing that to you, stop she's trying to be wifey. For 2019. She's trying to be like, all right, nigga, I want to be with you. And this is what I'm willing to do. If a man says, if this is wifey, that means this is how he sees this woman. If you don't like it, you just get to not like it. That's a fact. But guess what, bitch? You ain't that girl. Exactly. You ain't so that. accept it. Move or the move fuck on, on <laughs> and find I someone else. I had, had a hell of a time. Oh, huh? great. Had a hell of a time. Wait. But I got to go. Wait, awesome no. Time. I'm going to break down why. snowballing. Here's why. Cause All right, what is snowballing? Because I'm, like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand what the But that's not the man I want to be with. You're going to be disturbed by Hurry and go. And I'm going to explain to you why I so, say right. no to snowballing. What is snowballing? Snowballing is... I suck you off whatever it is, you come in my mouth. I hold that shit, I put it back in your mouth. Oh, no. oh God, no. That's no oh, more. Now, now, I how I feel about... Uh, look, look, now he good up. Good night, Glenn. Good night, Glenn. Have a good night. Have a good night. Make it back to the Bronx safe. All right. But good no, night. like my thing is this. If I, if I suck my nigga no, off and I swallow his shit... That is still going to be on my saliva. If you, I kiss you after I swallow your shit, you I'm going to feel like I'm still yeah, coming Chum, back you in your mouth. you kind of lost me on that. Cause. I'm not doing it. You I'm not. If my nigga lets me kiss him after I suck his dick and I swallow his shit and, I cut and all this other shit like that, I'm not with it. Because personally for me, I'm going to think that you're okay with certain things being in your mouth. Yeah. That's how I feel. I'm not snowballing shit. Now, if we go after I, after, after I go and rinse I my mouth, I go get me some juice that. or something or whatever, that's cool. What you want, some apple I'll juice? I'll kiss all up on you, that's no problem. But right away, no. Because I'm going to wonder what the fuck was going on in your <laughs> life that fact. made you be yeah, okay that's with crazy. people yeah, sucking dick and kissing you in your mouth. I have that's a what I'm lot of questions for you. All right, so, 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 all right, hold on. Before I leave, before I leave. Okay. You, Before I leave, what you gonna throw here? Because I know you're feeble, gonna throw all right. out here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If hold you swallow on. solo, hold on. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, that, that's definitely not snowballing. That you melted the whole snowman. Yeah, you right. That's you what, what you just did. You melted the entire oh, snowman. Jesus. Listen, before I go, we're gonna reverse it now. Okay. I'm eating you out. Right. You nut in my mouth, and I want to kiss you. I'm gonna take the kiss. I'm That's gonna grown yeah. shit. Snowballing? Grown you shit. Snowball it's not snowballing? Only kids How is that not snowballing? Liquids, there's no, there's no that babies that. in my car. Oh, it's still, it's still. It's still there. You think because you drink orange juice. It's, it's still it's ejaculation. No, 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 no. No, he said, no, shit no, no. he said, he no. said, no, time the whole I'm fuck out because you're not going to gang up on me. I'm not gang up on nobody. I'm just saying, if you drink orange juice, that don't mean they come, it's not in your mouth no more. I love that you use the orange juice. But that's why I said, personally, for me, I can't do that with my dude. Okay, that makes sense. But, everybody's different. This is different. He said, if I come in your mouth and he want to kiss me after, Am I gonna allow it? Are you? I may, depending on how I feel that day. Get Nine the, out of ten times, no, I'm not. I don't want you to. Can you let the people go? <laughs> don't want you to. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, <laughs> if I wasn't tasting my and own, give me a room. Oh. If I wasn't can you, can tasting you, my own, and I was fucking you, I don't want to taste it after. All right. Listen, okay. Gray, Blay Wright, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Blay right. Any, wise, type of any wise words for the people before you go when uh, it comes to snowballing, uh, face, no, listen, uh, face rape, rape and listen, erotic asphyxiation. Listen, Blay guys, right guys, face rape if a giggling. female swallows your shit, you need to look into that. Yep. She might be your next wife. Right. That And females, don't do, listen, females, don't do nothing if you don't want to go through the repercussions because if you do some shit like that. Now he going to be looking out your window. Well. I'm, He's hello? Gonna be wet, he, I'm, I'm two in the morning. Right. Where the fuck you going? Where the fuck you going? Where the fuck you going? Hello? Yeah, I just I just got out the studio. I got the room. Right. <laughs> Where you at? You need an Uber? I'll come get you. Uber? Uber Eats? Uber Would you want to chop cheese from Listen, the store? This is love chop what? cheese. Hold us out to the up fast. You you bitch, love yeah. chop cheese. I get you one time. Thank you for having me, though. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for having me. Thank you. You have a whole other yeah, career. I'm just acting. saying, man. <laughs> I want you guys to feel free to come straight to the mic. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, you guys can grab a seat this at either just, one. This is Hardy and Michelle. Hello, Hardy. Hey. Hello, Michelle. They are this coming to join in on our conversation. What did you guys think thus far <laughs> of our crazy asses? <laughs>
Knowledge has been going in. Knowledge has been going in. Um, knowledge is, to knowledge. We got this live lit without up. Without knowledge, I, would have even, I wouldn't even be at DTF. Time out. Before anything, I do have I really to shout wouldn't. out the prisoners that are inside. Well, the inmates. Let me not say prisoners. The inmates that are inside of MDC. Shout out to them. They do tune in to me every week. I'm not going to say how. I'm not going to say which inmates it is. But they do tune into the show every week. And I'm really 100% horribly disturbed by the fact that you guys do not have heat. Electricity or visits within the last past month is so fucked up. It's not even... A wording behind that. I'm happy that shout out to Trice Gangster. I'm I'm happy that people are actually taking time out of their day to petition everything like that and stand and protest in front of the MDC jail. I'm that so is sorry. great, but we do have to get back to the sex shit that we're talking about. Yeah. We sure no do. offense to the prisoners, but love no you offense, but they love, love you guys. though. They love love you. I love anybody who like, supports me. Oh my god, I do. Vanessa? But they they do want to hear us talk about this sex. They do. That That's about. why they. Tune That's probably in. why they're tuning in. That's I, why they <laughs> love her. I hope they have phones. <laughs> Because, you know, it's a little hard to be having phones All in right. jails now. Do you guys want to come before you die? Like, I, like, what do you guys think about erotic asphyxiation? How do you just jump into that? Do you I'm giggling. Come before you die? How do you just jump into that? Sorry. <laughs> I'm giggling. But, yes, yeah. but what do you guys think about people who get into that or bondage? Or do you guys have any experience with that personally? I mean. Erotic asphyxiation. But, well, cl- clearly not that because you guys are still here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they didn't die. You didn't die. You didn't die. Mm-hmm. Have you ever choked someone to the point where they like? Yeah. How, wait. Okay. Oh. Now that this is getting fun. Be, okay. How did you decide when to stop? <laughs> when you see a bodybuilder. <laughs> oh yes, girl. <laughs> Look at Uncle Tell. He's getting us bedroomized like. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> oh, my God. She said See, when they go limp. <laughs> when they go limp. Oh, do you guys, like, discuss safe like discuss safe words and stuff like that? Like, what's some of the safe words that you've ever come up with, like, with somebody or something like that? Well, it's, I, never, I don't think it's ever gotten to the point where it's just for a, a while. Right. 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 And you usually don't have safe words when it's with a partner like that. Because you, 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 uh, well, and in. You can read the person's body language. Mm-hmm. If it was do do it to somebody else, a, a safe word. And if I tap them out, what's that going to do? They can't say stop. <laughs> exactly, because they're yeah. not in control. Hey, wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind. I don't want to be passed out right now. <laughs> After they already <laughs> work, like stop. <laughs> no, that's so true. No, I mean you agree to be tapped out. You agree to be choked out. Then that's what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, you just make sure that the person's going to be there when you wake up. <laughs> But they agree to it. Yeah, but you agree to it. You agree to it. I mean, and that's not something you can go back on in the moment, Mm -hmm. right? Other things you can. Yes. Right? Yeah, not being choked (laughs) out. (laughs) Absolutely. I think about all of these things, and that's why even when I'm talking about things on the show, I always talk about trust, knowing your partner, knowing the person that you're getting involved with, no matter what you guys are getting into, because it's like a certain type of understanding that's more more so unsaid. A lot of times, like, even Um, if – I feel like that. I feel like for me, I know what kind of, like, even with the whole kissing a guy in the mouth situation, like, I know that there's certain dudes who don't allow that. Yeah. And I know that there's some guys who would be a little bit more open to that. So it's like sometimes, depending on how well you know somebody, I feel like you might be able to sense certain things about them. I I don't know. I agree there. But I don't know. But if if you're doing something like in the BDSM world where people do scenes together, like if it's somebody I don't really know that well, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I'm going to make sure that I negotiate with them. Mm -hmm. They have a safe word. They're allowed to say, you know, stop. Even if they tell me, oh, I want X, Y, and Z. And it, saying it and jerking off to it at home is right. a lot different when you're actually in the, in the moment, you know? <laughs> like, oh, my God, doing that doing really it. doesn't feel Been like the way it's it, it at right? home. Right, Absolutely. like actually doing it. So, like, you're allowed to say, like, you guys were talking about it before, you know, the, the people play the game consent, non-consent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a really mm-hmm. fine line, it's and I totally get that. Line. But you should have a safe word. Yeah. Red. When I say red, you fucking stop. Mm-hmm. Period. The end. That means that no true. matter what. Oh, you know what? That's good. That's the good yeah. way to like Because when you play it. consent, can non-consent, who knows when you're saying, oh, my God, no. Mm-hmm. You, you, know, you know, you can't put that back on the dude. Right. That's, that's not true. fair. I that's what I was fair. trying to say, like, earlier. Mm-hmm. That's not fair to throw it in one person's lap yeah. uh, one way or the other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, both you of you are adults. Decide. You both negotiated Thank the scene. Thank you. 
you know, you said yes. I gave you my adheres, you know. I mean, we went back and forth. Right. And I yeah. sounded like it sounded sexy, so I was like, yes, I do all that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you don't. Yes. No, you don't. Exactly. This giggling no, you don't. Thing no, you like don't. <laughs> Persenda, you in this giggling thing? Yes, because I said when I giggle, thing. that means, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that means, come on. That means already sounds good to me. She's like, no. <laughs> Pop it. But some people, if even someone here, they said stop being stopped now, like we talked about this earlier. Have you ever been in a situation where, like, I guess you wanted something to keep going and you, you didn't want to stop and you kept saying stop and it kept going? Like, are you, no. have you ever been in those situations? No. No, no oh. I, don't, I don't usually bottom. I like this girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and the only time I did was with somebody I completely trust and knew and uh, understood mm-hmm. the scene we were going to have. Mm-hmm. So I was just prepared for it. True. So is there any any time that someone comes to you and they're just like they want you to stop? I stop. And you just stop immediately. Mm. Yeah. Really? So even if because there's you know stop because that well, does so not sound so or it's like so you, we don't stop. stop. We use the word red. Red. Usually. Red. Red. Yeah. red. Okay. Or usually that that somebody sense. else say yellow first. That means like you know you're pushing it a little too much. Oh. You know. Okay. And then you talk to the person. I mean, some people don't want to talk because they don't want to get out of their headspace. Mm-hmm. But you need to talk to that person. Mm-hmm. You need to be, this person needs to, whoever you're the bottoming, they, they need to be able to talk to you Absolutely. and communicate. I was just thinking yeah. about how unsexy it would be to be like, yeah, yeah, yellow, yellow. And be like, oh, shit. Okay, no, you'll yellow. be glad yellow. there's yellow if yeah, some shit's you know going you're, wrong. You're if you're thinking about sex, this isn't sex. This is something completely different. Like something it's so she was structured. Yeah, it's it's real. Like you. Yeah. Like at one point, if she, her hands were like starting to get numb, she would have been like yellow, and he would have been like, "What's the issue? My hands are a little numb." Oh. So he just readjusts it, and then he goes right back to what oh, he was doing. Makes that's sense. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. You and I had that too. Like I would safety. always make them adjust. Yeah. Like that, cause because because be your hands can get really numb really quick. Because if some, make, somebody makes a rope and it's not like it doesn't fit your arm specifically right, and when they put it on you, they still yeah. Have to you can get that. Get shit can hurt after a while. <laughs> <Pretty> quick, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> when you're but you know, in there. <laughs> when you think about it, really, just you know, just any like sexual like agreement between anyone. I think it would be a lot sexier if we started having like a clear signal of what do we all mean? Yeah, and mm. and but not only that, but we let's sit down and negotiate. Right, right. What are you okay with? Because I don't and think you, that somebody you should to me, have to go to jail know, right, over or, something I said yes to. Right. Okay. Knowing damn well I really did say yes to this, well, but this mm-hmm. is the other thing too. Like interpret it the same way I did. That's exactly. That's, That's the other true. thing. So are you? Ha- I have a lot of submissive guys. You could do whatever you want to me. Until why would you say that to me? Right. You have you don't no know what I idea. <laughs> <laughs> what right. What the fuck I can exactly. do? I, I, I will kill have you on you. your knees crying, <laughs> yeah. begging me to stop. Yeah. So don't say that. And I got news That's for you. True. Nobody right. should tell me that either, girl, and I'm not okay. even in that okay. life. So that, right. Don't <laughs> tell me I can do what I want to do. Because I am. Because like, so I can kill you. Because okay. I can kill you. So I can kill is, you. This is the thing. This, it's the reference point. Right. When, you know, when I say, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, extreme sadist, that means something totally different than just a party. Right. Mm-hmm. Like oh, when, okay. when I'm, when I'm working, in, when we're at work in one of my parties or our parties, yes. these girls, these young girls come in, these young guys come in, and like, Oh, I'll let her do anything she wants to do. Oh, tonight. okay. <laughs> and they don't know what that really means. What does anything mean? Yeah. What yeah. does the word anything, anything mean? mean? If you're at yeah. a, I mean, that can mean I'm going to put stakes through your balls. <laughs> right. You yeah. know, That's my while you're tied up. Right. How do I want to put stakes <laughs> through people's balls? No, yeah. Or maybe but my the, the time com- to leave. I don't know. The communication needs to be there. It's kind of really important to negotiate what your boundaries are yeah, and what your limits are, whether it's BDSM or, or regular, sex or, or sex. dinner. Anything. Anything. Mm-hmm. Anything in life. Like a round table question as well for everybody. Like, what do you oh think no, the conversation again. has to be in order for someone to like arrange like an erotic asphyxiation situation? Like, if someone is planning to do something like that. Well, for me, I need what to would know. the conversation have to be like? Like, what do you guys think well, that you could start by watching a video hmm. and seeing? Hey, like you know, that's what I want to do. So now you have a visual, you know. Of what it e- is exactly what and what like. exactly is going to happen. And to what's you. expected of you and yeah. is the trust there between you and the person you're working yeah. with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you, you pass out for like not even a minute. Yeah. It oh. feels like an eternity, but it's not even a minute. Mm-hmm. It feels like you're under forever, but forever it's not even a minute. Ever and ever and ever, yeah. So how like do you it's never going to end. That is tricky. 
How do you bring people back? You don't. <laughs> you don't. They never really go back. back. No. If, if you go too far, they they're gone. Right. Right. <laughs> they're when I, yeah, when no I, I, all right, so like when I have That's my paddles. moments and like an orgasm, whatever it is, I do have like a whole, a whole euphoric moment where like it's like, oh, my spirit's over here. I just left the body. And then all of a sudden, and then I like, you, you I know where I'll be like, okay, whew, all right, I'm back here. Right. I'm sitting here like, oh my God, the sin I just committed. What the hell? <laughs> Did God just see me? Everything like that. But I just, when every time I think about like, ex- okay, I can't even say it. Every time I think about choking, like bringing Ex-fixia. people to that point, I always feel like it's a pass out point. Like maybe somewhere along the lines, they see God somewhere, have a conversation and come back. Like that's but how that's I think about it in my head. I feel like we if do you're it, lucky. Not <laughs> no, if I'm not lucky. I don't want to explain a lot. Like God, I'm not done yet. It's a lot more things I want to do. Bring me back. I promise I won't do this nasty shit no more. Oh, um, just fuck it. I'm back. totally doing something nasty again. Like, that. whatever. But that's the thing. I feel like when people get into those types God. of things, they're, they're doing it to have that pain, to yeah. reach that breaking point. Like, you don't want someone lightweight choking you. That means their hand's just sitting on your neck, or that means, like, they're lightly tapping you. Well, you, 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 know, you, uh, you, you don't have to do your breath. Throat. <laughs> you're it's ass. you're it's lightly good. choking me. You're lightly well, tapping my throat. You could do that. You could do breath play. Yes, that's cool. Oh, breath play. Man, I have never heard out. that terminology. Yeah. What is what breath play for people that don't yeah. know? Um, it's like covering your nose and your mouth so the person can't breathe. Yeah. I've had like people do this breath yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah they yeah. do yeah. that. Sometimes they'll put a mask on. Yeah. Yeah, the mask. And then they can regulate how much air you get in, and then you have a valve that you can release if you want to. I mean, people Real are into it for yeah. Well, people are into it for different reasons. This Somebody so that's that extreme is Why like a. Somebody would be into that. I though. never like, knew. I don't, I don't know that. why people are into <laughs> stuff. People come like everybody's into different dresses. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Because like, their mama beat him when they were three. And, and then she had a red dress this on. This is a mask. <laughs> she said, like, like, now you, you have to wear this red dress and check me out. I mean, can't you ask that about anything sexual at all since the beginning of time? I think about it in my mind, like, because that's what I said when, because someone did it to me. I was in a situation where I was, like, restrained or whatever the case may be. And he just did it. Like, he just pinched my nose. And I was like, what, what, why are you doing that? And well, you like, know, it's a couple He's of like, I don't want you to breathe right now. And yeah, then he'll let exactly. it go. But I, for me, I seen it coming from that person. It was a ran. sign of control. It wasn't yeah, just about the exactly. nose. It was just, just like, I would have yeah, ran. Exactly. That I control you breathing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, you hey, know. What? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> she knows who it was. But, yeah. It's, I would just run. It's, if you're in those situations, it's kind of like sometimes you're just going with it, in a sense. Like, if you're just a part of it, you're just You're like, all right. Yeah. You know, anything yeah. could be erotic and a turn on in the right. moment. Mm. You know, anything. For sure. Yeah, that's really true. I am dying to have sex on a, in the train. Like, I'm really dying to have oh, sex. I you was Yo, you want to hear something <laughs> funny? <laughs> shout out to Hardy, who was on the train last night. No, because shout out to him, he was on the train. You are going to have sex Not you, but you're inspiring me with all your pics on the train. Shout out to Hardy out here. I was like that until I got the city job that I have and I work on trains. <laughs> so I was just like, ew, no, this is so it's unsanitary. Exciting. This shit is disgusting as hell, and it's I get so it now. Exciting. The rats do it all the time. Oh, why would you say that? It's not that bad. Yeah. Why would you know, say that? Do it so the bad. rats do it all the time. That is the worst thing. It's like, oh my god. Uh-uh. <laughs> like the rats do it all the I've time. I've seen the most disgusting shit done that is, on that's the subway. That's a way to turn me off. Unplug and that's what turned me off. Con Ed took it out the building. I know. I would be bougie about it. I would want to. Probably have a blanket. A blanket. I lay See, down that's blanket. how yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. And that's why. Yeah, and you're never, never going to get a whole subway car to yourself. Like that's that's why. why actually, yeah. you could. You really could. You could I get mean, a car to yourself. You could. You could. That's easier. Depending that's the time. easiest part of it. Just pay attention. Is getting a subway car open. to but yourself. But for how long? Two oh, stops. probably like two yeah, stops. Yeah, I was about to say. Stop. Yeah, yeah, stop. For, the, yeah. for the person that works in New York City Transit, let me tell you, it's probably Listen, two stops. Getting a subway car to Depending. yourself is the easiest part of having sex on a train. Mm. That's the easiest part. They got a few you think so? Yeah. yeah. What's the hardest part? Mm. Uh, the hardest part is Keeping finding some place clean to do it. Because <laughs> I've or seen you what hang people upside do. Down from the hey. Hey. No more upside down because I already had this whole conversation. So I know you heard me about my upside down moment. So I know upside Mimi. down. Shout out to Mimi. Blood in the rushing shower. is not fun. You anymore. like it upside down though? Not so. anymore. Okay. Blood rushing is not fun. It was fun for the second until I realized, like, wow, I really, my head really hurt. And then when I got back up, I was like, whoa, wow, oh, wow. <laughs> but that's the fun. Okay, wait. It's like coming Ooh, out. Coming come back out to reality. The light. I can't energy. walk. I can't see straight. Like Let it. me get but, it right back but together. But that's a lot of people like that adrenaline rush and that flip. And that I liked it in control. that one yeah. second. And sometimes.
sometimes it I understand lasts that. Lasts more than a second. A lot of people, if you're going throughout your lives and you have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things that you you know have control over, you have to make sure you're controlling. You want to get to that place where you're you not. can release that. Yeah. You want to get to that place where some you can you know pass that over to someone else, and a lot of people find relief in it. Even myself yeah. as a young person, I'm like, hey, this is. For me, I and I still in my personal life, I like a man who's dominant. I like a man who's controlling, who's directed. Like I like that type of guy in my life because I feel like it's order, and it's structure, and it's all dominant. sex is so. about um, control one way or the other anyway. True, really? you know, yeah, of course it is. Mm-hmm. Like you're fucking kidding yourself if you don't think that it's not about a sense of you know control or not having control one way or the other. Mm-hmm. It all, all of it is. Mm-hmm. It is. You know? uh, yeah. Even if you over there sitting there thinking that. Uh, you know, that is not about controlling your part, please, girl. It is. That means you really don't know yourself. Either giving I up didn't or say that. I do you know, like turning men creative. into my bitches. Well, oh, see, damn, my grandmother's on my Facebook. Damn. So that means that you are. <laughs> that means you right. are <laughs> in control. Though. Your grandmother's a grown ass woman. She <laughs> right. probably did it too. <laughs> <Yeah>. Moving <laughs> no, on. See, they <laughs> told me that this weekend when I went to Boston. You say like, that every Sunday. And every <laughs> Sunday, you know your grandmother's <laughs> on there. Let's move on. Listen, but, no, but with you making guys into your bitches, or that's, what, that's, control. that's control for you. Yeah, but can I, I don't say really something need to make them into my bitches. You're not making them into a bitch. You're bitches. just bringing that out in Oh, right. yeah. I don't want to say that. Like, exactly. I don't want to say I made them into a I like it. Yes, it's just like you I don't feel bad. If they didn't want to do it, they're not going to do I it. I like Thank that you. it feels that way to, to you, you, though. That's the, the part hell? you Hold like. I'll snap. snap it. What is this? <laughs> because no, because that's a, it means so many ways. Like even what you put there. Because sometimes even with me, like I would be in a position where I'm like, okay, I want a guy to be dominant, but still at the end of the day, it's still me allowing him to be person. dominant. Oh, yeah. Yes, to oh, be yeah. dominant over me. It's yeah. still allow. I'm giving you the okay to try. And to you're yeah. still yeah. picking the one that you allow. That's the still that. Yeah, the dominance. Had, yeah. Well, you have so. <laughs> And it, it's, a, it's amazing. Learn. It's amazing how many tops feel that they're total control of the scene and the situation. <laughs> yeah. And I just look around and I'm like, you know, they're not in control at all. They're and not even doing what they want to do. They're right. doing what the bottom asked them to do. <laughs> That's true too. All you, you can do is pretty much just this. You really can't do right. anything else. And then sometimes, I guess depending on the dom, but sometimes if doms are really in a, I guess, a complete control state, like I said, like when he uh, squeezed my nose, I didn't ask for that. I didn't expect that. Yeah. Oh. But I was in a state where I was not in control already. So it's like when he came to grab my nose, I was like, oh, what is that? And then it came to the explaining. But in the instance of him grabbing my nose, like he was in control at that small point in time. But if I never mm. got tied up, he wouldn't mm. have had the opportunity but, to even. But was that negotiated in advance? No. So that was a, that's like that. He said violated your right. right. Technically, yes. We were in a relationship with it. But, yeah, but that, that doesn't matter. Right. Whether you're in a relationship or not, your line still can be violated. I don't really want to mm. like have the conversation that's through true. sex. I don't think, I think it kind of takes the fun out of it in a way. What if but you yeah, have the what, conversation? Would you rather like die? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shit. But see, no. See, that's why. I'm not doing the whole choke. I have in the past, but when I go like this, it's a let go, it's right away. Yeah, but to and then you, sometimes to you, I don't like so choking like, nah. at all. It depends on who I'm with. You're going to meet a guy that's going to be like, you know what? Fuck that. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want it. Oh, my God. I want it so much more More. now. Yeah. Because she says no. Y'all going to make me not want to have sex. Yo, that made my dick go harder. Y'all going to make me not want to have sex with nobody that got no kind of grip or hands or foot or shape or nothing. (laughs) But the conversations, (laughs) I feel like, are extremely important. Stay away from me. You get to know somebody. And it doesn't take away from anything. If anything, it adds to the experience. Right. Because now it's like foreplay. Yeah. And then you find out more things that you might be interested both in. Like, Hello, right? like and it, and it doesn't matter how long you've been together because what you see every day changes your observation. Mm. I guess I just kind of like to safely surprise sometimes because I feel like sex is not something really that you should like plan. The one thing about planning sex, I be thinking about like, okay, so I'm off today, five o'clock, but we can link up at six. We can have sex up to this time. I, I think gotta that's go to fine. Well, I kind of get a committed relationship with that. someone you know and trust. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. But otherwise, I don't think that's a good idea. But I, I, I just like I get I get some things like too. I got I get the spontaneous aspect of it yeah. to a certain degree because I do want sex to still kind of be open yeah. in a certain type of way. Like I always feel like there's certain things you're never gonna really actually be able to discuss to the T. Exactly. Like right. if you, like a kiss on the cheek right. or like you know a, a hand on the back. Like, like hey, it's, wait it's a gonna minute. be it's gonna be we certain things you that. can't discuss. Don't kiss me. But if I feel like if you do talk to that person, you have an understanding with them. There's still gonna be a level of respect there, even if 
something gets done out of the the lines, you know, and that person I feel like not is not going to go too far mm-hmm. because they'll understand where you're so coming you from. So you do, and but instead of telling them, but you got to talk to them. Well, instead <laughs> of you know, I want A, B, C, D. You tell them this is my hard limit. I don't want you doing this, the max, no matter yeah. what. Right. Like I don't like me. I personally don't like getting my hair pulled. Don't pull my hair. Mm-hmm. It's a serious trigger for me. Do not. You know, other than that, mm-hmm. it's a trigger for me too because it's a wig, and I don't even. Yeah. Talk <laughs> <laughs> and people like well, to be I'm like, this. I'm well, like, well, I know you know, we not glued. I'm sorry. She is not glued down. <laughs> you know, and, all <laughs> that. And, and then say like, you know, whatever. I like, uh, I like impact. I like being spanked. Mm. So now I've given you two things. We haven't spoiled anything. I have no fucking idea what you're gonna do. True. I got no clue. There's the okay. the really no clue. And you we don't know where this is gonna go. No where. Who knows where it's going? Okay. It's like somebody asking me to do a scene with them, and they tell me, you know, they'll give me all that. Mm. They don't know what I'm gonna do. Mm. They have no clue. They think they do, mm. you know, and that's when I switch it up. Mm-hmm. And and that's why you really want to take your triggers out. Things that you know are triggers for yourself. You want to yeah. put those as your hard limits in because. Yeah. If you know especially if you don't know you. the person, you can trigger and have but all kinds of fun stuff. But what if sometimes you don't know what the trigger is? Because I can honestly say for me, like, what works with one guy for me may be good, but it'll be horrible for somebody else. Like, it'll trigger something in me for well, some reason. Well, you, you should be more connected to yourself and feel the connection mm-hmm. you have with that person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and yes. some people you're going to feel submissive. Some people you're going to feel dominant. Some people you're just going to want to just have oral sex. It's everybody's <laughs> yeah. different. Don't yeah. don't project, you know, everything you want into every single person. Right. Cause yeah. Cause, yeah. Cause it's just like, not oh, gonna work I'm out that way. I'm learning that lesson right now. I'm like, if I got this move, <laughs> I want to use this move on everybody. <laughs> no, no. That's no, not, no. not gonna no, no, that that that. Looks like you're dancing with a fish. Don't do that. That's an out the water. Tell so you, bitch. I'm not fucking you. Somebody. That's an out the water. Somebody's gonna love, love that, Vanessa. <laughs> They yeah. are, and so maybe, you? yeah, but you know what the and thing maybe is? Maybe everyone will love that It just makes me think about that person. Yeah. That yeah. And you know what, yeah. listen, can you I say, nobody wants this sexy. This, this is sexy. You're gonna get all that. That's all I think you about when she does shit like that. You should be feeling it, not like asking yourself, should I do this? Mm-hmm. It usually just come like, be, you, it exactly. comes from like, you Organic, know. right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, it's got to be organic. It's got to be organic. I just don't want to see you do that move in no club. But this move ain't for you. Not in the club either. It's going to be a dance move. But don't. It may be a dance move for you too. Don't do that in the club. <laughs> but listen, because you listen to jazz, and let's, you don't need to let's speak. Jazz, jazz, yeah. Let's speak on dance. her move. That move does something for her. Hey. Yeah. If, if he can get into it, great. If not, she's doing her right I'm there. Still doing the move. She's doing her move. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, can you imagine her riding the no, move and works. doing I'm this move here? It move. works for her. I'm still doing the move. She knows herself well enough to know that I'm sorry, this is her move. Not, because I, I like my move. He's getting my moves. He likes the move, then we move it. If he likes it, great. Mm-hmm. If not, the move is for her. That's what she's saying. This is for me. I like this move. I feel like people can enjoy a lot of different things when it comes to sex as long as they're just completely comfortable with themselves. That's the first part. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to open way more doors for you to be comfortable with other people. Like for me, I'm comfortable with myself. So like when it came to the whole idea of snowballing, I get it. That's extremely gross to have a whole load of cum and to try to kiss somebody with. Right. That's extremely excessive. But for a female to, you know, maybe a guy ejaculates in her mouth and she swallows it. And she kisses the guy afterwards. Or, you know, for me, it's not that big of a deal because I'm looking at an overall aspect. I'm mm. looking at an aspect of two people united, <laughs> two people are, who are already as one. I can use your toothbrush, but I can't kiss you after you came in my mouth. And I can suck that. your dick. Right. right. And, I, and I can I let can you come in my mouth, dick. but that's you're been, not going yeah. right. That's been sitting in your pants all fucking day, no, and I can right. suck that shit. Right. That's okay. okay. Yeah, but, no, but I kiss part. you afterwards, and it's like, oh, but my God. You're I want the shower. So it's kind of like, but you know, it's like we were talking about before. It talking about it like this. Of course, it sounds gross, right? But in the person. moment with that person, people don't think about you that. Really? No, I will like, admit. Oh God, I will admit. I've done things oh, that I was go. shocked <laughs> by. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I will admit it. No, we talk about spitting in people's mouths, and I was just like, oh, oh that yeah, sounds disgusting. Yeah, but in the moment, and a week later, my boyfriend did it to me, and I was like, oh my God, it's gonna make me come. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. It didn't make me come. Yes. Then right. you know, when you that spit on your it. pussy, it made you come. Like, oh, big, there we go. <laughs> unexpected. That didn't make me no. <laughs> unexpected. It spit in my mouth, and I was sitting here like. But within the limits. You didn't see that coming. Within the limits. I was, I was in a shock zone. I was like, <laughs> what the 
fuck just happened? If you did, if you, and I'm like, I clearly just said last week I wasn't coming. doing this shit. <laughs> how the fuck did, like, God, how did we get here? Because you spoke it into existence because you said no, it was gross and the universe was like, <laughs> really? It was it's, on your mind. Let me see what you think. Right now. Topic, right. And it was my fault for sitting here commenting on uh-huh. this shit. I kept Your saying to myself, I, I kept saying, like when I was younger, I kept saying to myself, I want to get tied up. I want to get tied up. I want to be tied up. And I didn't think I was going to be tied up, spanked, and fucked all at one all time. All in one day. I, I just was like, oh, it's it gonna was be just an overload. Up. It was an overload. But, you know, it, it, things no, happen. It's not. <laughs> and you're like, oh, being tied up leads to this? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> right. At the mid of being tied up, I'm like, Sender, okay, I don't stop know what's happening. Smiling. Right. Okay. There we go. We're stop here. smiling for Senda. <laughs> stop it. It all <laughs> sounds amazing to me. <laughs> She was it, over there like, face rape? It's just good to be sexually free or sexually liberate, liberated is what most people call it. I feel like a lot of people sometimes when it's, I guess, out in the daylight or amongst certain, like, you know, the face of people, a lot of people hide certain things or they don't, won't admit to certain things. And I personally feel like people need to have more conversations because no. when they don't, you know, things get kind of weird in the bedroom people, if you don't. So. People well, are afraid. Uh, yes, and, they are. And the They're media makes that so much in ba- what they see on TV, what's coming mm-hmm. everywhere Absolutely at them is true. like, if you don't do it the way that I think you should do it, mm-hmm. yeah. you should be... Or the way society says you should do correct. it. Correct. You should oh, be expelled. And everybody is different. Everybody has different backstories. Everybody mm-hmm. has different histories. Mm-hmm. So do what you want. Get your freak on. Right. I mean, uh, however that's it That's what okay. reality is. Reality and is no not being in a box. Yeah. There's another person out there that's got the same freak as you. Oh, yeah. yeah. At least one. I agree and with that's that. that's at uh, a minimum. At, at yes. least. At exactly. least. And there's yeah. at least one person that likes. And there's a likes. website. <laughs> and there's a website <laughs> for it, yes. I've learned that there's a, a website hashtag. for everybody. And website, a hashtag <laughs> for it. For it. There's a movement probably <laughs> somewhere. There's yes. always a website. I will honestly say that. There's Ever always a website. Ever hanging around Vanessa, I will Google shit, and it's always a fucking website. There is always a website for it. Always, hands down, it's always a website. Yep. Absolutely true. That is what oh, I man. do love about the interweb. <laughs> interweb is good. I feel like I call it the interweb. The interweb. interweb. It started a lot, though. A lot it of times people perfect. had to be closed minded about a lot of the things that they were into. And, you know, with the internet now, I feel like you can expand your fetishes. You can, you know, you can actually take care of yourself in a better way. You can have that arousal yes. that you really was searching for because you yeah. found exactly what you were looking for. I used to feel like a lot of times, especially when I was younger growing up watching porn, like I would always get the same basic tapes that <laughs> my family members would watch, you know, Big Booty Miles, whatever it right. may be. And like you, sometimes you get kind of stuck in a box when you just watch certain types of DVDs and you don't get exposed to anything else. And then when you grow older, you start to do your own research. You start to see, okay, hey, I can get aroused by this. I can get aroused right by, by that. that. You're like, oh, okay. And then you, you know, you just start to expand yourself more and, it doesn't take as long to masturbate. If you I always exactly knew there was way for. more out there. I'm just saying. <laughs> I always knew it that. I'm like, that I it but to actually see I it, to fuck. actually seeing yeah. it, I feel like it's a completely different thing. You know, when you actually see it, it's like, oh, brand new. Oh, man. It kind of taught new. me that I wanted to fuck. I just didn't want to masturbate no more. That's what it taught me. Good I want for you. I, I just Good want for sex. You. I, don't want, I don't want the imaginary dick. I don't want the play mindset of dick. I just want the real thing. That's what the real thing. That's it. Yeah, uh-huh. If I'm masturbating, this is this is just for the meantime is and space uh-huh. time. Because I get, <laughs> I'm right. the type of person I get mad for masturbation. Because I'll be like, okay, now what? Uh-huh. Where's the dick? <laughs> <laughs> There's no dick. Because I'm just like, oh, okay. Fuck this <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm like, I just dick? got this out my system. I'm like, shit. All right. Now I can go on with my <laughs> day. <laughs> you and this fucking yeah. dance. You're gonna stop this dance tonight. I mean. You're going to stop this day. Because <laughs> sometimes you just like, you know, you just need to pop one off so you can get on with your day. All right, now let me do this Amen. so I can, like, Amen, focus on girl. what it is yeah. I'm going to do today. It's important. Yeah. It's important for masturbation. Some days though. it's just like that. And, some, and sometimes it can't come from someone else. Sometimes you have to create yeah. that, yeah. you know, that you orgasm. create that pleasure yourself. Yeah. You two are fun. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Cardi and Michelle. I met you guys on S Street Media. We had an amazing time, and I was like, one day we will link up. And you guys are more than welcome to always come back to Smile Kiss and Every Show. Yay. This was Thank really, you. Really, you guys are really, really, really fun. We only got a half an hour, but I really, really wanted you guys to be here for a much longer time. So we will set this up again. Well, now that we know where you are. <laughs> right. Thank you. you. I'm so sorry. I got the right brand. <laughs> yes, the I'm right brand. And I was like, what brand is he talking about? And then Uncle Tony was like, probably clean. Did you go like, to Grand oh, Street? That's what Uncle Tony was saying. I'm like, I don't know. I gave him the direct address. He's like, yeah, we're in studio. I'm like, what do you see? He's like, oh, you by the water. I'm like, ma, nigga. 
Where did you go? <laughs> I don't know why, but it is kind of hard when it comes to this thing. It is kind of hard. I told you Avenue. Where but you guys go? have an event that's coming yeah, up Yeah, we have soon, an event right? coming up sat- Saturday night. It's called oh. Incandescence. Yes. If you want to check it out, on, if you go to hardybrooklyn.nyc mm-hmm. or hardybrooklyn.com, you can fill out a form and uh, we'll check you out. And if you get accepted, we'll add you to our mailing list and send you a registration Ooh, page. Okay. Awesome. Can we get any details of what kind of event it is? It's a pink event. Okay. Oh. Y'all know what that is. Let your minds take you. Exactly. Where you That's where right. You to take you. <laughs> I was still thinking about what's the possibilities of pink events. <laughs> like let your minds take you. I'm like, I don't let know. Let your I mind know. take you wherever go. it goes. Nobody's so dying at this party, so Nobody's you guys can leave party. your That's good. That's good to know. Nobody's erotic asphyxiation fetishes yep. at home. Good leave to know. those types of fetishes at home. Yes. Thank you for having <laughs> us. Thank, Thank you, you guys so much us. for coming through. And can you guys say your hashtags or handles before you go so that people know where they can find you at? At HardyBrooklyn.nyc, Hardy Brooklyn everywhere. Yes. Oh, uh, let's see. Sexy Shutterbug on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Uh, incandescent on Insta- Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, and Shutterbug Boudoir on uh, web uh, email. Oh, not email. The interweb, sorry. <laughs> well, all of her information uh, is on IG where I do yeah. see her at, so Sexy Shutterbug. But yes. Hey. Yeah, all my information's there. On yes. Instagram, sexy shutterbug. And if you guys want to check out the rebroadcast of this episode, you guys can go to YouTube, type in Smile Sticks in our network show. You guys will be able to see this episode plus many, many more that we have already shot. Uh, this is coming up to our third year. We will be having an anniversary party at the end of this year. So we got a lot of stuff going on, but it's going to be very, very fun and exciting. I thank everybody for being here. This is the girl, Vanessa Smiles. We have. You already know it's your girl, Solo Charmel. S zero L zero underscore charm. If I can't add you on that page, add S zero L zero underscore charm underscore. Also, April twenty first, you guys can find me at SOBs hosting that crazy ass showcase alongside DJ Shelf. So shout out to DC Productions, straight out of Jersey and Philly. Appreciate you guys for booking me. Um, that's about all I have going and on. And Priscinda, where can they find you at? Uh, it's your girl, Priscinda. That's P-R-E-C-E-N-D-A underscore I-N-C. I am the hit maker. Great. And you will find me on the Grown Man Show from 4 to 6. Yes. And on the Smile 69 Network Show from and 9 to 10 every Sunday. Yes. Sippy Cup Sundays. Absolutely. <laughs> and we are out.